Hello and thanks for joining us on this playoff edition of Green and Gold Gridiron. I am your host, Brian Groff, alongside Keith Rording from PackerReport.com, also the guy who invited me to his house for the game so I could move furniture to his basement. It was thank heavy. you, Keith. It was very heavy. Thank, thank you, <laughs> Brian. I could I got, not have moved it myself. You bet. It took a little help from your friends. Jenny really Ritchie did. joins us in just a few moments, as well as our Packers guest, linebacker J. Roan Elliott, a guy that we are looking forward to seeing getting back to the field. Last week, the Packers eliminated the Redskins 35-18, to and we saw something that we have not seen in quite a few weeks. It was the offense clicking, specifically in the second and third quarter. The span there, they really got into a rhythm, and you could really see Aaron Rodgers get on a roll. You know, I picked him to lose, as we recall. I took some grief about that. It looked like I was right in that first quarter. I mean, 11 yards of offense, J.C. Treader playing left tackle, pushed back into Aaron Rodgers. They get that safety. Didn't look like we were going to see much of any offense, but it really woke up. Second and third quarter, we saw good protection against Aaron. Uh, for Aaron, he took care of the ball. We ran the ball well. The run set up the pass. Next thing you know, we've got some instant offense. But let's keep in mind, that was a below average defense. So I'm happy. I'm just I'm not ecstatic. We saw the experiment at left tackle. We saw Don Barclay play over there. We also saw Josh Sitton. Yes. J.C. Treader. So you touched on it. He allows the sack. The end zone, the safety, mm -hmm. but after that, he really came on strong, locked, not only protecting rushers on that side, but getting out and moving on some of those uh, uh, pulling plays as well. You bet. And maybe you just write that off as nerves because, absolutely, he looked like he was outclassed on that particular drive. After that, he locked it down. He was really strong in the run game. He was excellent in the pass game. I think Aaron felt good about that. He was able to make some plays behind the line, so it's good to see. I think this game, the, the offense has to be trending up, though. Mm -hmm. That level of performance, as happy as we were to see it, won't get it done in Arizona. We want to see if they can continue doing that. Now, your keys last week, one of them, ball security, another one getting to Kirk Cousins, and the pass rush gave them six sacks and five knockdowns of Kirk Cousins. So and I'd say they followed through yeah, on your they, keys. They, they, finally, finally, they listened finally, to you. Finally, they listened. you got to love that. That defense has been so aggressive. I feel like the secondary, too. Great game by the secondary, great game by Clinton Dix, again, without Sam Shields at corner. So the young guys continue to step up. That secondary helps out the pass rush. And, man, they were aggressive. They ran some stunts and some loops underneath. They were great with the outside rushes by Matthews and Peppers, and they were able to set up outside and really get those tackles out in space and just pick their pocket on if they were coming inside or outside. They hit home on both. So we definitely need to see a repeat performance of that. We're going to get more into the game at Arizona later on in the show, but your initial sh uh, thoughts as the Packers go to Arizona, second mm -hmm. time in four weeks. Uh, it's a quick turnaround. Arizona had a bye, so they had a chance to kind of sit back. They could rest uh, some of their players. Uh, they didn't look good in the week after no, they beat Green no, they Bay. Didn't. That was a game they lost to Seattle. By but they did lot. have some – they did, and they had some time off. Meantime, Packers, quick turnaround. Uh, two days of rest, they come back, Mike McCarthy taking it easy on his players, mm -hmm. but then they go out to Arizona again. So will things turn out differently? You know, I think there's some key guys coming back. Bakhtiari settling in at left tackle, Sam Shields coming back. Uh, tonight's guest, J. Ron Elliott, is going to be back. So they get a key special teamer uh, in all their core units. They also get a guy that's going to provide some pass rush. So it's getting healthy, but again, that offense needs to be trending. I feel pretty good about the defense. But it's a tough Cardinals team they're going to be facing. We'll get your picks and All Jenny's right. picks and my picks later on in the show. In the meantime, let's bring Jenny in. And uh, she always gives us those questions that go yes. a little bit beyond the X's and Welcome, O's. Jenny. Well, hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? <laughs> great. because I'm glad that I didn't have to move furniture this weekend. I was not invited to the furniture moving party. <laughs> and we didn't have I had refreshments. And the reason I didn't get there in enough time to really help with all the furniture was the plumbing work I had to do in my own Bathroom. I, I was not, not part of that either. Help with that. I had a great away. weekend full so of no yours manual was labor. way yes. better. You're going to give us our title town topics for J. Rowan Elliott. Yes. What kind of things will you cover? You know, we're going to. I like to go off the field with my questions. You guys talk enough with him about on the field things. So I like to keep it a little more lighthearted. We're going to talk movies, Powerball. We're going to talk a little bit of on the field stuff. Can kind of go either way, but. We're just going to let, let us have a great time here. As far as we know, he did not win the Powerball. Nor, I did as not far either. As we know, nor, but nor did any of us. That's why we're it's all It's not called the back green and gold gridiron. So. Yeah. Set. If I won the Powerball, I might have taken it. We have all that <laughs> straight ahead on this playoff edition of Green and Gold Gridiron. Stick around. J. Ron Elliott after the break. Brought to you in part by Hermaning Financial Group. 
Hermity Financial Group strives to help you and your family reach your financial goals while demonstrating their core values of integrity, independence, and innovation. With offices in Wausau, Stevens Point, Manitowoc, and Wisconsin Rapids, proudly supporting the Boys and Girls Club. It's 3 p.m. For 50 million kids across America, school's out. And for a third of these kids, they're out on their own, out with nowhere to go and nothing to do. It's time to support the Boys and Girls Club. Great futures start here. Do you like to walk? Do you want to live longer? You will love square dancing. Friends you meet, you meet for life. Marvelous people. I guess I meet people. I love it. Love it. I love square dancing. The fun, the family. Great variety of music. The camaraderie. Was you young? It's fun. Try it, you like it. Oh, Call 715-544-7969. Visit wisconsinsquaredancing.com for more information. First lesson free, singles and couples welcome. When disaster strikes, water, fire, storm damage, and even mold. We take care of them all, anytime, day or night, 24 hours, 7 days a week. Quality service and customer satisfaction are top priorities. Tell your insurance company you prefer North Star Cleaning and Restoration. And remember, don't just get it clean, get it North Star Clean. NorthstarCleaning.net Welcome back to Green and Gold Gridiron. Brian Graff and Keith Rorting, and it is time for us to introduce our special guest. He is a second-year Packers linebacker. It is our pleasure to introduce J. Roan Elliott. J. Roan, thanks for taking the time to visit with us. We truly appreciate it. Hey, how are you guys doing? Glad to be here. Thank you. Uh, we're doing really well. Uh, a great week for you after three games of not playing, finally getting back to practice. I know you're excited for that to happen. What are your thoughts as you were getting back onto that practice field? I mean, I'm, I feel very good just to finally be able to practice. Um, it's been a very rough three weeks for me, um, something I'm not very accustomed to. And uh, it's kind of weird because I'm usually like the guy who's always down over practice, but now I feel like the kid before Christmas, the night before Christmas, trying to, get ready to go to practice, and I have a lot of energy when I go out there. How tough is that for you uh, down the stretch? You know, it's just scratching and clawing and playing for the NFC North division and getting into the playoffs, and for you not to be involved. How how frustrating was that for you, or is there a better word that really sums that up? Uh, it was very frustrating, um, but at the same time, I had to – I couldn't be selfish and, and t let, let that bother the team. So I tried to do my best to be a leader and help the guys who was filling in for me as far as, like, John Crockett on special teams for me, or Ladarius Gunner. Just making sure those guys are ready to go and, um, you know, just trying to go out there and get a win because it sucks not being out there because you don't know if you have another chance to get out there this year. So, um, luckily, uh, the guys held it down for me and got a chance to play in Arizona this weekend. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you've been chomping at the bit. You get in there at outside linebacker. You were such a such a, uh, an energetic guy for them to bring in earlier in the year. You know, they've, they're moving to Clay all over. Certainly Julius is not playing like a guy his age with ten and a half sacks. But you've been watching a lot of that. Are you ready now to just get back in there and, and spell those guys and, and start getting in on the action? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm ready to get out there and be another spark plug, um, whether it's kickoff, uh, defense, whatever, wherever they need me. I'm trying to do my best to go out there and be a contributor. Um, those guys have done a, a great job of getting pressure on the quarterback and, and, and flying down on kickoff. So I'm excited to be, out, to be able to come back and help. Mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy talked earlier this week about going back and looking at the film from just a few weeks ago when the Packers were last out in Arizona. You were inactive for that game, but I'm curious from a player's standpoint, did you take a look at that film? And what was that experience like? Was it, was it helpful? Was it like taking your medicine? Was it painful to watch that? I, I know you're always, as an athlete, always wanting to get better and move forward. Uh, but but how, do you, how would you sum that up as far as looking back to learn so you can move forward? Um, it, was, it was very rough the first couple of days um, after that loss because we know we didn't perform the way we wanted to perform. But um, after that, we kind of flushed it and moved forward to Minnesota. But uh, we kind of rewatched it this week and, you know, trying to learn from our mistakes. But uh, those guys in Arizona, that, that's a great team right there. They're, they're clicking on all three cylinders. Um, you know, they kind of let one slip against Seattle. But uh, we know they'll be ready to go um, Saturday. So uh, we're, looking forward to, we're looking forward to the opportunity to go out there and play again. What kind of things did you take out of that game? Because the defense did play, considering the score, pretty well. Uh. 
obviously there there's always some positives um, from the game, but there's also some negatives. Um, like one thing we really could have done better was stop that two minute uh, momentum drop going to the half instead of going in down 17 and said it could be 10. Or but we just got to do a better job of picking each other up in certain situations and helping one another out um, for our special teams, offense or defensively. Now, J. Ron, you uh, you love getting after the quarterback. You're such a fast guy. You know, speed is speed is kind of your thing. Car Carson Palmer's only been sacked, I think, 15 times, like tied for 22nd in the league. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is second in the league, He's sacked like 45 times or something. So. You know, when you when you watch that and you've got a quarterback that hasn't been sacked that much and he's got, you know, he's got that rookie running back to hand off to and he gets rid of that ball quick, what are what are kind of the little things you're looking at? Is it is it nuances that he has when he's setting up or getting ready to release? Is it the guy that you're gonna be across from? I guess what do you as you go in and kind of watch this film and, and get yourself ready, what is it you're looking for? Uh, I just look at the the situations. Um Try to know, try to know what they're doing. Is certain like where they are on the field. Uh, we, number thirty-one is very dynamic. Um, he can run the ball. Uh, he can break tackles. He's a probably the, the fourth best receiver on the team. Yeah. So he's very versatile, and uh, they they have a, a great group of receivers. So you just gotta, we gotta just try to go out there and you know and try to hold our own in the, in the pass coverage, and we try to get coverage on. Them. I mean, try to get pressure on them because. Uh, we we got to get one thing we didn't do was get Palmer off the spot a lot last time. So um, we got to try to push the pressure on him and make him uncomfortable. Wasn't it on a screen where you got that lunging one-handed interception? If I remember correctly, was that the play? Yeah, that was all luck. So I don't really know. What to tell. <laughs> luck, <laughs> really? Uh, Just luck. All luck. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that again if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Take us through that play. I mean, it it had to have been more than luck. What did you see? How did you read it? Uh, honestly, um, we was coming off a timeout, and um, I was in the huddle talking to Ha Ha, and we was going back and forth. I'm like, I'm telling Ha Ha to, to make a play, um, you know, try to get the momentum back, and he's like, Don't worry about it, you about to make it. And I didn't, I'm like, All right, so we just going back and forth, we're laughing, and then, um, just from from the film study, I I, I kind of saw Marshawn scan, scan across, and I was getting off the ball, and the tackle was setting back, and I knew something was up because the tackle never lets you just go inside that easy. So I kind of just faded back and I just played the drill uh, that we practice all the time. And uh, luckily, Russell just felt like doing me a favor. And, <laughs> and, uh, just, and I just caught it and, you know, and I, I kind of fumbled. So that's one bummer about the situation. But um, it was just a great play and just a great, great time. The team needed it. Now, you had a you had a forced fumble on that last drive, too. So, I mean, that was a that was a great game for you. I think you got a game ball from uh, Coach McCarthy after the game, didn't you? Yeah, I did, but uh, <laughs> the the fourth fumble was luck again. It was Clay Clay missed a tackle and kind of put me in a position to make that fumble. So um, I always tell Clay, thank you for that. <laughs> you got to take credit for more of this stuff, J. Ron. You're making nah. your own luck, I think. <laughs> Hopefully one day. So Keith asked you about the game ball, and we can tell that you're obviously where you live. Is the game ball in your home right now? What do you do with the game ball once they award it to you? Uh, I got a couple of them in, in glass cases. Um, I got the interception ball in the glass case, and I haven't put the uh, the game ball in the glass case yet because I've been too lazy to go to the store and buy another container. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's great that you're doing an interview from your recliner. Last week, Brett Hundley did it from a car. Yeah. I, I, see, I, I, I was thinking about that, but the Cavs are playing the – the Spurs right now, so it's kind of <laughs> one of the games of the year. So oh. I'm kind of trying to multitask right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, well th thank you. Hey, one other thing I wanted to ask. You know, in the locker room, you and, and Julius and some of these other guys, the, the word that I have heard so many times this year is alpha. Everybody says, you know, I want to be the alpha. You know, I'm going to be the alpha on this play, on this game. Is that something you guys talk about when this many different guys are having key roles in this defense and getting sacks. Is that is that just kind of a, a little competition amongst you guys to get to the quarterback? Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of like an unspoken rule. Um, everyone wants to be alpha. We don't go around just talking about it, but it, at the end of the day, it's in the back of our, all our minds. Uh, we want to go out there and perform at our highest level and uh, put our team in a position to win. Um, that's one, one thing. I think is our philosophy is to be alpha no matter what the situation is. We got we try to go out there and dictate it and not catch or receive any blows. 
but don't talk about it. It's like Fight Club. Yeah, exactly. Well, we look forward to seeing that out of all of you this weekend against the Cardinals. It's time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll have our Title Town topics. We'll bring Jenny Ritchie in for that. Stick around. Packers linebacker J. Roan Elliott, our special guest. Hi, I'm Joan London. When I needed to find senior care for my mom, I really struggled to find the right fit. That's why I recommend A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. They have advisors that can help you find the right senior care at no cost to you. There's a place for answers, a place for mom. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, call 800-452-3594. Things break all the time and glue never works. What you need is Laser Bond USA, the amazing liquid plastic that fixes virtually anything in as little as three seconds. Laser Bond is not a glue, but a unique liquid plastic that only hardens with the UV light. Now fill in plumbing leaks in three seconds or less. Instantly repair kids' toys and keep playtime flying. The magic of powerful liquid plastic that hardens under ultraviolet light. The best part, the adhesive is made in the USA. Wow, that is fast. It bends, it's flexible. If you mess up applying, just wipe clean. No sticky residue. Call now to get LaserBond USA for just $19.99 and receive this protective carry case free. But wait, we're going to double the offer absolutely free and ship your order free. Call now. Call 1-800-504-3045 to get your LaserBond USA. Call now or go to LaserBondUSA.com. So call 1-800-504-3045. Call now. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay are everywhere. They're making another minimum payment. Great. Most of the money goes to us. One call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your neck. Then lower his rates. And consolidate his bills into one low payment. Consolidated Credit drives us batty. Call Consolidated Credit now. Because debt sucks. Call 800-320-1579. That's 800-320-1579. Welcome back to Green and Gold Gridiron. Brian Keith, we bring in Jenny Ritchie, our special I'm guest. back again. Packers Hello. linebacker, <laughs> J. Roan Elliott. We also want to send our thanks to Mayfield Sports to helping, helping us make it happen all year with these interviews. Uh, and we have J. Roan from his recliner. So he's nice and comfortable. That's good. Jenny will put you in the hot seat <laughs> a little bit. We should give me bit. a recliner, I think. <laughs> I think I would do really well in a recliner. Maybe chair. next season. Let's, Maybe next let's season see what you I have for Titletown Topics. All right, so this is your second year on the Packers roster. You know, that's a big change. So... To you, you know, what's been the biggest adjustment that you've had to make or the biggest change between your first year and now, now that you have a little bit more under your belt? Uh, for me personally, um, I'm kind of a shy guy at first. And uh, now the coaches expect me to talk more, special teams meeting, and be more vocal. So um, it's kind of hard for players to take me serious because they know I joke a lot. And um, I might. it's hard for me to yell. And when I do yell, they think I'm playing. So. Uh, just trying to be more serious, I guess. Yeah. I just want to see you walk up to one of the Ohio State guys and go, Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best. Well, I'm actually cool with, with Corey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. It, it's, more so, it's more so Micah. I love to go up and say that to about <laughs> Iowa. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, next question. Um, so, this, this year there's been some really exciting plays this year, you know, from Rogers, you know, Hail Mary catch. Awesome to, plays. Which was awesome plays, yeah. I say awesome a lot. They make fun of me. I decided <laughs> I'm not going to do that today. So, Keith's going to say awesome for me. Oh. Um, so, there have been a lot of really great plays. You know, Micah Hyde is one-handed interception with the Vikings. So, is there a play or a moment from this season that really stands out to you as a pivotal moment or just even your favorite moment? Off the top of my head, my favorite moment, uh, I would say definitely I would just be Mason forcing the fumble against Cordell Patterson. Nice. And uh, seeing that because Mason is a very hard worker and just to see him get that play and kind of ignite us for a little bit during that game. So what do you do? I mean, a lot of people really like to know players, you know, off the field. So when you're off the field and you want to get away from that football mindset, you know, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, how do you kind of separate yourself in the off season or anytime you just need a little bit of a break? Uh, I, I like to go back to my high school and uh, uh, or, or different, many different schools and just talk to kids and try to educate them so they don't make the same kind of mistakes I did growing up uh, because I feel like God, 
gave me this platform, and I'm trying to use it to to give back and uh, give the kids like not knowledge and educate them. Because I wasn't a very bad kid, but I, I made some choices I shouldn't have made and, and should have worked a little bit harder on the field, off the field. And uh, I just try to I just try to go back and, and speak on that because uh, these kids are the future, and, and I don't I don't want to see them go go through what I did. So that's one thing I try to do uh, as much as possible. That's great. And you have a son, too. Is that correct? So you want yeah, to be a good role model for him? Yeah, I have a little rug rat. So uh, <laughs> I, I, try, I hang out with him as well as, uh, as, as much as I can. And uh, him and my girlfriend, so they, they do a great job of keeping me happy. So, um, I mean, no, that's, that's pretty much off season and working out. <laughs> yeah, so what would you say is the best perk of being an NFL player? Obviously, there are some perks that come with it. So what, what's the best perk, in your opinion? Um, the fans actually think that you're pretty cool for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, just no, no real reason for that. <laughs> yeah, like people, people, people walk up and talk to me, and they, they, they are suddenly excited and just bring a lot of energy. And I'm a people person. I love being around positive people, and you know, people just love talking to me. And I don't know, I just could be myself around them. So it just feels, it's it's fun to just open up and meet new people. I, I would probably say. Packer fans love that. So. I'm that might have been my favorite answer I of any so. guest yeah. all year. Those are our Title Town topics. J. Rowan Elliott from Cleveland watching the Cavaliers game while doing an interview with us. <laughs> Go Cavs. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. We all do. And good luck this weekend. Go get Arizona. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks right. a lot. That's J. Rowan Elliott. Our thanks once again to Mayfield Sports. We're back after this. When disaster strikes, water, fire, storm damage, and even mold. We take care of them all, anytime, day or night, 24 hours, seven days a week. Quality service and customer satisfaction are top priorities. Tell your insurance company you prefer North Star Cleaning and Restoration. And remember, don't just get it clean, get it North Star Clean. NorthstarCleaning.net Hermity Financial Group strives to help you and your family reach your financial goals while demonstrating their core values of integrity, independence, and innovation. With offices in Wausau, Stevens Point, Manitowoc, and Wisconsin Rapids, proudly supporting the Boys and Girls Club. It's 3 p.m. For 50 million kids across America, school's out, and for a third of these kids, they're out on their own, out with nowhere to go and nothing to do. It's time to support the Boys and Girls Club. Great futures start here. Do you like to walk? Do you want to live longer? You will love square dancing. Friends you meet, you meet for life. Marvelous people. I guess I meet people. I love it. Love it. I love square dancing. The fun, the family. Great variety of music. The camaraderie. You young? It's fun. Try it, you like it. Call 715-544-7969. Visit wisconsinsquaredancing.com for more information. First lesson free, singles and couples welcome. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay are everywhere. They're making another minimum payment. Great. Most of the money goes to us. One call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your neck. And lower his rates. And consolidate his bills into one low payment. Consolidated Credit drives us batty. Call Consolidated Credit now. Because debt sucks. Call 800-320-1579. That's 800-320-1579. Just like that, we're into our final segment on Green and Gold Gridiron. The Packers on the road facing the second-seeded Arizona Cardinals. They just saw them three weeks ago, Keith. Uh, what are your keys? Oh, they saw them. To get, they came, they saw, they left, and now they come back. Yes, what are so going to be the keys to get the a different opposite result of this three time? Weeks ago. You know, worst game of Aaron Rodgers' career. So, mm -hmm. barring that, yes. it's already going to be more competitive. We talked with uh, J. Roan about the defense did play well. The defense did some really good things. They were put in some bad spots. They had their back against the wall. But we need to see more of the offense. That Redskins defense, that more of the Packers offense, that Redskins defense, that's a below average defense. Mm -hmm. That performance, as good as it seemed, as refreshing as it was to see, will not cut it. Mm -hmm. So the offense needs to continue to get better. We thought we saw the emergence of Devontae Adams. Finally, out he goes with a knee injury. Mm -hmm. So we need to get the running game established. Eddie Lacy had some great runs. James Starks, who maybe is the MVP of the offense and the guy that's really been doing it from week one. 
we need to see more out of him as well. If they can get that running game go open, uh, going, it'll open up the passing game. But they need to give Aaron Rodgers, as another key, mm -hmm. some easy passes, some easy underneath routes. Because I'll tell you what, that – Arizona Cardinals defensive line, they're coming after him in that secondary with Patrick Peterson. There is not going to be a lot of separation. So they need to give him some, some easy routes that he can win, that the receivers can win. They need to go at They need to get after Carson Palmer. I think we need to see the Packers get into that rhythm that they had on their offense in the second and third quarter mm -hmm. and into the fourth. And uh, another key is going to be the Packers secondary and how they can hold up against those Cardinals receivers. Clinton, Clinton Dix Let's played well. Sam Shields coming back. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, Hello. cross your fingers on that with Sam Shields and the concussion protocol. I went 4-0 hey. because I took all the road Welcome teams back. last weekend. Keith went 2-2. Two and two. Jenny went 3-1. and one. I think she would have went 4-0 and oh, but didn't want to take the same picks as me. I didn't. We could have each, and then she changed the last second. I can't believe you went 4-0. So 4-0, visiting you teams. Can't. I don't have we the don't gut feeling on the road teams this weekend. Who wants to go first? I think Keith should go first. I, Keith will go I first. I would love to go first because I think my picks are nothing like yours. First pick oh is Kansas City at New England. Taking Kansas City. I love what the Chiefs are doing. I think the Chiefs are a Super Bowl team. They're hot. Pounded Houston. I think they're, gonna, I think they're doing the same thing at New England. I'm taking New England. Of course, well, she's going, going with New England. England. I wrote all these down before he was started talking. So. And You're I'm taking, I'm yours. taking, mine are all circled. I'm taking Kansas City on the road. Plus, it was on Downtown Ollie's radio show already, so well, that so already, you can't change your that that already wow. aired. Then it's Pittsburgh at Denver. Denver. That Pittsburgh Cincinnati game was crazy. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm going with Denver. I'm also going with Denver. And so am I. Well, wow. Those are all us. written down. <laughs> Seattle, Carolina. I mean, we've been hear hearing that Carolina isn't as good as, uh, as they think they are. I think we're about to see that they are good. I'm picking Carolina over Seattle. I'm taking Seattle over Carolina. Excellent. I hope Excellent. you are, too. The spirit of excitement. <laughs> and I have Carolina. It's already been circled. And Green Bay at Arizona. Week, guys. Looks like I'm picking up two games. All right, well, that'll get you in a third place. There you go. It's my, my dream to be in third place. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, this is a great Cardinals team. They're a Super Bowl favorite. I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I thought they were going to lose to Washington. I was wrong, but I'm picking Arizona. I'm picking Green Bay. You have Green Bay. I'm taking Arizona. Oh, man. You both. You know, this is a pack. show, more Brian. Days. Once again. Look around you. This uh, is green and yellow. It's green, gold. Gold, It's all Packers. computer animated. Those are oh the God. picks. And <laughs> before we go, we want to let you know about a show that we're putting together. It's called the G3 Challenge. It's a sports game show. So we will test your sports trivia knowledge. We are looking for contestants. We plan to tape on Friday, January 29th, and Sunday, January 31st. If you're interested, visit our Facebook page. It's Green and Gold Gridiron. Our thanks again to J. Roan Elliott from his recliner watching the Cleveland Cavaliers game. And thank you for watching. Have a great week. Thank you.